Common Council meeting for February the 1st, Peru City, to order. It'll be at uh, 6.03 p.m. Brent, are you ready? I am. Okay. Uh, Brent will be leading us in uh, Pledge of Allegiance and also the invocation. Go ahead. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your goodness and your mercy to us, for your blessing. We pray, Lord, for our city. I ask that you would bless all of those that are sick and struggling with COVID. I ask that you would bless those that are struggling financially with jobs and different things that they're facing. We pray that you would bless our citizens, bless our city, bless our economy, our schools, our health department, all of those that are working to make Peru a great place to live. I pray that you would bless this meeting, that you would bless the city council, fill their hearts and their minds with wisdom. We ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Brent, I thank you a lot. Be safe on your journey to India and back. Thank you. Okay, roll call. Anderson. Did I hear Anderson? Steve Anderson. Can Susan get on? Can Susan please get on as Zoom so we can hear and have conversations? Can you hear me? Is it? We can't hear Susan at all. Can I can't hear either. Hold on. Hang, hang on just. Hang on just a minute. Okay. Yeah, I see you. Can you can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Anderson. Here. Gustin. Here. Poso. Here. Ramsey. Here. Russell. Here. Sahidashini. I'm here. Wolf. Here. Okay. Does anybody have any uh, corrections in minutes, or do they want to hear the minutes read from last? I have a correction I'd, or addition I'd like to add. add. Okay. Um, when we talked about the communications, when I, when I talked about the CARES reimbursement request, there was a long discussion there. And I think we need to add that, um, I don't know how you want to put it, but that $9,000 was left on the table, so to speak, and no receipts came in for that amount. I agree. I think that job is nice to have in our minute. Is that your only is that your only change, Kathleen? Right now, unless you want me to well No, the only other thing okay. I could think of is I thought it'd be nice to have our liaison assignment listed in the minute. They're not in there and that was a big chunk of our meeting last month. Yeah. Tom, you, you said you were gonna get those to Susan. Did you get those to her? Yep. Okay. Is that going to be an issue to add either one of those things, Susan? Well, I was thinking the liaison was done before the actual meeting started. What is that? What? I got closer to we're through the sentence. This one? Yeah. Bring your volume up, Susan. Does that help? It's still good. Did that help? What, what was Susan's response? Ask him if they can hear you, Susan. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Can you hear me now? Okay. 
Well, with all that noise, I'm not sure what I heard. Anybody up? No, nobody else here can hear what was said either. No. Just barely can hear you, Susan. Okay, you've had these minutes since Thursday or Friday. Is there a reason why we couldn't call up and have this discussed and addressed and corrected before the meeting? This is the time in the meeting when we do the reading and correcting of the minutes. This is an appropriate time to bring that up. Well, at this point in time, I'm probably not going to add what Kathleen wanted to add because we are videotaped and there's no response. Really I understand that, but if valid we don't know what happens in the meeting or we ever get sued, they're not going to watch all the video footage. They're going to look at our minutes. But Su Susan, I don't know that that's correct because this is exactly the time set aside to do that. If we try and do that outside of city council, are we going to be in trouble for that? Because this is exactly the time that we do that. And that's what it says in the agenda. So I'm confused why there is why there's a problem about that. Because this is the time set aside to do it. Okay, let's just go ahead and we'll just vote to go ahead and have those minutes corrected as suggested by Kathleen and myself. Okay, just uh, Betsy. Yes. You you kind of cut out there for a minute too. Uh, I did. Yeah, you wanted uh, the correction done, but with the correction, you wanted the uh, uh, council liaison committees added in there to also. Is that correct? I just want the liaisons added to the minutes from last month's meeting. Okay. Is that a motion? Yeah, yeah, can somebody make a motion to, could you make a motion, Tom, to, to accept the minute with the correction? Uh, I'm not, go, go ahead. Go ahead, Kathleen. You can go ahead, Tom, please. Yes, this is the time to do that. Okay, so Tom is making the motion. Is that correct? I can't hear you, Tom. Can you hear me now? Yes. Uh, this is the time to make that motion. Okay, are you making it? Would you like to make the motion? Make the motion. Okay. Would anybody like to second that motion? Second, Anderson. Yeah. All right, ready for roll call on that then. Anderson? Yes. Gustin? Yes. Popo? Yes. Ramsey? Yes. Russell? Yes. Tahadachini? Yes. Two off. Yes. Okay, the next uh, matter on the agenda is Council Liaison Communication. Does anybody have anything that they would like to report? Yeah, I do. Um, hey, um, who's speaking? Hey, hey, you guys need to, you guys are, I don't know. <laughs> they may want to hear it. Okay, somebody's got some background noise going on, and I think it's distracting. I'm, I'm not sure who, who that is. Hey, hey, I don't know if I'm going to make it through. All right, Kathleen, are you ready to give your report? I am. I am. Um, I, I talked with I talked with uh, Pat and uh, Betsy about this over the weekend or last weekend, end of last week. But I got a few calls about the Civic Center and their concern about this isn't my this isn't my uh, committee, but they're concerned about uh, the the water pipes freezing and it not being checked on. Um, I I. There's a person that was on the board previously, and I would encourage that that we allow her to, I mean, Pat, I would encourage you to reach out to her, and I think she'd be good to have on the committee. She spoke at one city council meeting. Her name's Gerilyn Monroe. I think we have enough people on the committee, and 
the mayor's keeper has already told me that everything is set up over at the Civic Center. Everything okay. is okay. Okay. Um, so, uh, Tom, would you be with the police and fire department for this retention committee? Um, would you be willing to help with finding out what we can do public relation-wise to help out? I can barely hear you. Uh, Tom, Kathleen just wants to know if you'll join her on the uh, fire and police retention committee. <laughs> join her on what? The fire and police uh, pension hey, committee. You guys very well. Mayor, Mayor, if you could, could you mute the iPhone and David's iPhone? I think that's where all the background noise is coming from. And you can mute them as as the administrator. Hang on a minute. I have my headset on and I still have a hard time hearing everybody. Okay. Here's one. David Kaplan. This is me. Okay, Betsy, repeat what you said, please. Uh, Kathleen was just asking you if you would like to join her on the committee that she's on to try to help retain the police and firemen. Sure. Okay, sir. Yeah, I, I, I've spoken with uh, the police, a couple of the policemen, and uh, yeah, I'd be happy to do that. Great. Super. She'll get in touch with you on that. Does anybody else have anything from their uh, liaison? Yeah, I'm yes, not. I do. Yeah, I'm not done yet. I'm not oh, done. I'm sorry, Kathleen. Sorry. That's okay. That's okay. Um, just with the police, a lot of it seems to be um, budget-wise and wages, and I think we need to start thinking about how we can add that or help that with, help them with it through the budget this year. So it's not too soon to start thinking that way. Also from Makita, um, the Seven Pillar Brewery should be completed very soon and open within the next couple of months. And they're going to be scheduling a tour for elected for all the elected officers. It's looking good. Yeah, it really is. But one more thing. Pete and I there's a we're on the future growth of Peru committee and we're getting it formed this year. Last year with COVID and everything it wasn't we weren't able to. But we're gonna plan on having our first meeting February fifteenth. And Mayor, I'll when I meet with you on Thursday, we'll talk about that too, okay? Okay, that's fine. All right, great. And I'm Kathleen, done. Kathleen, just for the record, I've uh, already uh, invited Mark Sablisk and Perfect. Patrick Redman and Sarah Luganbill. I think two out of the three are going to show up. Perfect. That's a great. Yeah, I've got a few of them too. So thank okay, you. Great. Wonderful. Sure. Thanks, Pete. Uh, sure. Does anybody else have anything to report from their uh, Yes, I do. This okay. is Mark. I've been at the uh, county commissioner's meeting the last, well, I was there this morning, and they uh, want to congratulate uh, the, uh, Tim Hunter, the sheriff, also Alan Hunt, the county commissioner, and also uh, Jeff Echelbarger for cleaning out the walks this morning so they can have uh, people come in and have their meetings uh, today because of all the snow we had over the weekend. Also, there's going to be, they're going to put up a new firewall at the jail. And, of course, uh, Dr. Redmond's going to resign at the end of this month. And she put in a lot of work for this COVID situation. Her and the rest of the people there at the uh, health department. So you we need to congratulate her for all the hard work that she has been able to do. Uh, Square D, the main building, is basically going to be tore down. And the uh, others uh, on Washington Street, there's no final decision, but it looks like it's going to be up for sale at this particular time. I uh, got something else I'd like for everybody basically to think about. Tom, I'd like to thank you for a great job this past season. Let me get through the uh, YMCA uh, 
get that all started and appreciate the, your time for that. Also, this is basically what I has been nagging at me ever since I got started uh, because uh, you need to respect people and the vice chair of this last, I was not notified, Betsy, about you being the vice chair until I saw you up there on the Riverwalk. I did not know that. Uh, stick to the agenda, please. And also, if you have any questions before the meeting, contact Susan or the mayor, and, the, and everybody has a liaison report, should have anyway, to give out, because that's what people were uh, basically uh, wanting from us. What's going on around the city? What needs to be done? And everybody should have at least one report, or maybe two, with your uh, liaison reports. And hopefully we'll have a lot more on March the 1st. That's all I got. Okay, super. Uh, I have a couple of things from my uh, shift. The first one that I have is from Makita, the tax abatement. I toured the AZ isotope uh, facility uh, last Friday, and it was fascinating. It's incredible. I don't know if you guys all know about it, but it's out on Grissom Air Force Base, and they are making uh, isotopes that are going to be used to diagnose and treat different forms of cancer. And eventually, when the whole thing is finished, it should provide Peru or the surrounding areas with about 1,400 jobs. So it's pretty oh. incredible. If you have a chance to go out and take a look at it, please do. Uh, so that's yeah. just one thing from my main committee that I wanted to report on. Well, yeah, that's wonderful. Anyone else? Yeah. I have the Aviation Board. They elected new, the same officers they had before. Mark McIver is president. Jim Clary is minutes. Jeff Marburger is treasurer. Um, they sold 150 gallons of low lead, 23 gallons of jet fuel for the first time. Um, they are looking for a new engineering firm because Ken Ross is retiring. Um, and they are working on a PowerPoint for their presentation to the council, and they are hoping to approve a new board member. Um, Pru Utilities, Josh is here to explain the um, salaries for the mayor and the clerk treasurer, and they are working on the um, Grissom Water project, and it's right on track and uh, looking really good. I've seen pictures of the new... Um, well, they will be a rehabilitated part of the facility. Um, Civic Center, our meeting was uh, pretty much rescheduled. Betsy and I showed up and discussed a couple things, but um, I'm going to set up a new meeting with the mayor now that he's back. Um, uh, could I, I insert something and see if you're aware of it, Pat? You what? Can, can I insert uh, a piece of information regarding the maybe the uh, how we can utilize the Civic Center at this point? But Jamie's home burnt down to the ground. Okay. Let's not. Yeah, let's let's wait till regular communications to report okay. on that if you want to. Please. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. And um, as uh, as Betsy, I went out to the Arizona Isotopes plant too. And he, the one of the, the gentleman that took me on the tour said he thought that having the um, cyclotron there would instigate new jobs from um, different companies such as Johnson and Johnson. So it's a possibility we could be getting some more medical um, plants building close by. Is what he was saying. That's what Great. I thought. Awesome. Is that it for everybody? Okay, uh, I guess we'll go ahead and move on to unfinished business then. Uh, we tabled resolution 2, 2021. Can I get a motion so that we can reconsider that? A motion would be we can. Go ahead. This is Pat. This is Pat. Um, give a motion to reconsider resolution 2. A second, Kathleen. Great. Uh, so we tabled this last month because we weren't we had some questions over it and we weren't able to get Josh Chance on because of 
uh, some technical issues. And so, I don't know if anybody else would like to discuss anything about it. No, I spoke to Josh. And Do we not need to take well. a roll call? You I consider? No about this. No. Oh, we got to do the roll call for my, the second. Right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hang on just a minute. Susan. Anderson. Susan's on there now. Anderson. Yes. Justin. Yes. Clotho. Yes. Ramsey. Yes. R Russell. Yes. Syed Ashini. Yes. Well. Does anybody else have anything that they'd like to discuss about it? Would you like to hear from Josh? Can't hear you, Pat. Would anybody want to hear from Josh about this? Uh, Josh, is there anything that you want to add? Or if anybody doesn't have any concerns, we can take it to a double. I have no concerns. Okay. Great. Would somebody like to know send that? Uh, we approve resolution number two, 2021. I'm mostly approved. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we approve it. So. Okay. Does somebody like to second it? Second. Tom. Anderson. Great. Yes. Gustin. Yes. Foto. Yes. Ramsey. Yes. Russell. Yes. Sahid Ashini? Yes. And Walt? Yes. Okay, so moving on to new business. Uh, the appropriation transfer resolution number 3, 2021. Can I get a motion to consider that? So moved. Uh, second? I second. Yes. Second with Pete there on that, Susan. Okay. Anderson. Right, any discussion on that? Wait a minute. Roll call. Roll call. Roll we call. need roll call. Roll call. Roll call. Sorry. <laughs> Anderson. Yes. Gustin. Yes. Foto. Yep. Ramsey. Yes. Russell. Yes. Sahid Ashani. Yes. And Wolf. Okay, now you can go ahead and discuss it. Okay, sorry about that. I'm trying to keep things going. So does anybody have any discussion or dispute? Susan, do you have anything that you want to say about that? Or I anybody believe, have any questions about it? I believe Eric okay. Walsh is on Zoom, so if anybody has any questions, he is more than willing to completely explain I, those. I, Friday, I sent an email asking for an explanation of what was being paid. And I haven't heard anything back. I don't recall seeing it. Well, yeah, I sent, I, I'll forward it again, but yeah, I sent a, an email requesting to be identified what, what the numbers are, where it's going. I understand that, Steve, you've talked with Lori, is that correct? Yes, I was in there today to talk to Susan and Lori, and they explained it in full detail to me, and it completely made sense to me once they explained it. So I, I, I personally don't have any concerns of what we're doing here. Okay, Steve, that's good enough for me. I trust you completely, so. And they explained it very well. It just didn't make sense when I saw it. I'm sure everybody looking at the same thing. And then once Lori had explained to me what line item for what, I have no concerns with this. Okay. Yeah. Um, great. We need to adopt this. I, I just understand that at the end of the year, a bunch of us, you know, we, we do this annually, so I'm good with it. I move we adopt the resolution three. That's up to the chair. Oh, well, Pa. That's you, Betsy. Wait a minute. Betsy, do you make Betsy, a move? You have to be the one to bring it up to. Uh, Betsy, are you ready to motion? Oh, okay. All right, yeah, so I guess we're ready to approve appropriate. Adopt. Resolution 3, 2021. That's adopt. Adopt, yeah. Adopt it. Okay. I need a motion for that. That's second. Who, who motioned? Betsy? I guess it'll be me. Yeah. I'll motion that. Betsy did. Okay. And Tom seconded. And Tom seconded. Okay. Yeah. Anderson. 
Yes. Justin. Yes. Popo. Yes. Ramsey. Yes. Russell. Yes. Fahad Ashani. Yes. And Wolf. Yes. That will need to be signed by each individual. That one does have to have your signatures. Okay, I'll come in Thursday and sign that night meeting. Well, so we do have one sign. Oh, here, yeah. Okay, so we're ready to move on. Uh, could you get a motion to consider Resolution 4, 2021, authorizing the application commission? I second that, Tom. Who made the motion? Betsy. Oh, Betsy. Oh, Betsy. Okay. Yeah. Anderson. Yes. Gustin. Yes. Popo. Yes. Ramsey. Yes. Russell. Yes. Sahid Ashani. Yes. And Wolf. Yes. So, Debbie, are you here to kind of explain this to us? You're muted. You're muted, Debbie. Yes. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Stephen Ray and I came back uh, on January 13th to talk to you about the uh, COVID-19 response phase three uh, CDBG grant. At that time, we were requesting uh, for a match of 25000 and uh, it didn't pass. But anyway, we went back and talked to some of the partner agencies that were going to benefit from the grant. And uh, since then, uh, we reevaluated the program and looked at it, and we were going to need $100,000. We narrowed it down to $100,000 and narrowed it down to the daycare providers and preschool providers in the city and not in the county, and requesting $100,000. And we were looking for matching funds and buy in. So, with the buy in, now we have up to 11500 with matching funds. So we would like to ask the city to be the lead uh, applicant and us be the sub-applicant. And the recipients would be um, the recipients would be United um, United Way or United United Way of Miami County had put in money, and John's put in money, um, Main Street United Methodist put in some money, Ida's New Beginning put in money, and then the Redevelopment Commission put in money and Miami County Community Foundation. So with that, we have matching funds of $11,500. So um, we're really excited to be able to offer um, staffing and operational uh, expenses for these daycare providers and uh, preschool here in the city. And we would just ask that the city would be the lead applicant for this grant. Debbie, this is Tom. Mm -hmm. um, so, so what we're doing is we're running the money through the city. You are. You are considered our pass-through. Got it. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I, and then know. I think Stephen is on the line, and I'm sure he can give you a little bit more information. So is that resolution and resolution five, resolution four and five? Debbie? Um, I, so, Stephen? Debbie, I'll take that. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah. The Office of Community and Rural Affairs requires two resolutions, uh, one authorizing the submission and the local match, and then a separate resolution authorizing the local match. So you have two separate resolutions okay. for your consideration. Perfect. Thank you. And I did leave out the United Way of Miami County is putting money in on that match also. Debbie, thank you, Tom. This is Tom. Thanks for doing all the work on this. It's appreciated. We're really excited. We know that these providers have used money out of their own pocket to survive since COVID hit, and it's mm. and we're just really excited to be able to help them uh, increase their staff and their operations uh, within the next year, so that we can add more families back into the uh, daycare provider uh, here in Miami County in the next year. So. Uh, we're hoping to add at least 20 more families, and uh, so those uh, families can get back to work and uh, have a thriving uh, environment or a thriving uh, economy here in Miami County again. Perfect. Thanks, Debbie. Mm -hmm. I think, does anybody else have anything to add? 
Okay, is anybody ready to motion to approve resolution number four? I second that. Tom. I'll motion to approve. Thank you, Kathleen. You're welcome. Actually, uh, Betsy, you the one that has to say we're going to adopt it. I don't believe that that's correct. I don't believe that the chair has to make every motion. Well, so, I, to, I know you made every motion if you were the chair, but I wanted to give other people the opportunity to make the motion. Okay, whatever you say. So who motioned? Kathleen. So Kathleen made the motion, Tom made the second on mm -hmm. that. So we're ready for a roll call. Anderson. Yes. Dustin. Yes. Poso. Yes. Ramsey. Yes. Russell. Yes. Sahadashini. Yes. Well. Yes. Okay, so we're going to move on to the other resolution that's connected with this grant. Resolution number 5, 2021, uh, authorizing application submission and the match commitment. And so we just need a motion for that to consider it. So moved. Uh, second. Anderson. Okay. Okay, any discussion on that? Anderson. Go ahead, roll call. Roll call. Oh, roll call. Anderson? Yes. Dustin? Yes. Popo? Yes. Ramsey? Yes. Russell? Yes. Tahidashini? Yes. And Wolf? Yes. Wolf? Wolf? Betsy? Betsy? Betsy, yes. Okay. Okay. She yes. didn't come out. Does anybody have anything that they'd like to discuss further on this resolution? Debbie or Steve? No, just thank you. I, I'm just uh, really looking forward to be able to help uh, the child care services providers here in Miami County this next year. Great. Well, thank you. All right. Okay. Resolution time. Okay. Motion then to... Accept resolution number five, 2021. Wait a minute. You got to do number four first. And we did four. And we did it, number four. It's yeah. already done? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I, hadn't mar five. I hadn't marked it. I'm sorry. That was my fault. Okay. Uh, okay. motion to adopt? Yes. Uh, this is Tom. Um, Who second? Anderson. Thank you. Roll call. Roll call. Anderson. Yes. Gustin? Yes. Popo? Yes. Ramsey? Yes. Russell? Yes. Sayadashini? Yes. And Wolf? Yes. Okay, so we're ready to move on to communication. Does anybody have anything that they'd like to bring up? Yeah, when I uh, started early, uh, I would like to consider on behalf of... Uh, Jamie, uh, their house burnt to the ground, so they're going to be needing a place to stay. All right, and she had been, uh, you know, lodged up there uh, using the uh, civic center facilities. So, what about this interim time? Can we move her in there temporarily? Well, we're still trying to decide, uh, you know, how to, how to, how best we can uh, manage the civic center later on. She needs a place to stay. Okay, Julie sent me, Julie Warden sent me that, that text uh, a couple of days ago and passed it on. I don't know if anybody else has heard of that or not. About yeah, I thought, Pete, I would support that because right now yeah. I'm concerned about, I'm concerned about, I've heard that those, the heater turns, turns off periodically. I don't know if we need to appropriate funds for that or how we do that, Dustin. I mean, that's just my opinion. Yeah. I support okay. that. Though. All right, let's let's let Dustin speak on this. Um, okay. He and I had talked about it, so Dustin. I'll let let Dustin go ahead and speak. If everybody had muted or uh, stuff. Although I think it's a very kind gesture, and I think it would be the right thing to do. Unfortunately, legally, I don't think the city can allow a non-employee to come live in its property that it owns um, because she is no longer the coordinator for the civic center um had had she remained had she not stepped down from that position 
then it, we could have probably have made it work within the previous contract how it was. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't I don't know what authorizes us to allow just a private citizen to reside on city property. I get that. Could we hire her on a temporary basis? We hire her. No, there's nothing in the budget for a salary for her. On the budget? We could have, we could appropriate money. I mean, temporarily, maybe a, a, you know, a month or so. A month or so, yeah, a couple months. I don't think we appropriate money and approve it today. I'm sorry, Pat, I couldn't hear you. I said I don't think we can appropriate it and approve it today. Are we going to table it? I mean, is there, is there, we need to table this or? There would need to be, a, there need to be an ordinance, an appropriation ordinance right. prepared. Right. This is just uh -huh. I mean, advertised, but. Yeah. Uh -huh, that's right. Do that. And not, not, not only that, there need to be an amendment to the wage ordinance as well, because you'd have to reflect a change in wages, salary. Oh, jeez. Could we maybe work within the Civic Center Committee to maybe come up with something? I mean, it's, it's possible, but at the end of the day, the Civic Center Committee's an advisory board. It has no, it has no teeth. It would have to come through the council. Right, I'm just saying, like, to we work something to our Civic City ready to bring back to the council more of an organized maybe plan or something. You cut out there, but I think I got the gist of what you were saying. I, it, it's That'd be doable, but at the end of the day, there still has to be some legal basis for allowing her to, to reside on city property. Otherwise, why do we not offer this to someone else who loses their home type yeah. situation? Yeah. That's a slippery slope, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, lines, I was uh, uh, approached by uh, Kevin Arwood, who used to run the Civic Center, and he's on our Civic Center committee. And he is interested in doing a benefit for Jamie Arthur um, and her husband. And he was wanting me to ask the mayor if he maybe we could do that at the Civic Center. And he just wanted to do a drive through. Uh, we all kind of on February the 14th. I can bring that up to Miles on Tuesday. We can discuss it. Just send me all the information. Okay. Good idea. I was going to say, as far as the Civic Center, I don't think it's technically closed right now. I mean, no one's obviously booking anything, so if okay. they want to book it or the council wants to donate the booking, I don't see an issue with it. Okay. Super. That's a great suggestion. Thanks, Justin. Does I, anybody I else have anything to bring back to that? Yeah, I, I'm interested. I would hope, because we're back down to yellow, the county is, COVID status, that we get back into the chambers, person to person. That being said, that we continue to have a Zoom available to those who don't feel comfortable doing it or any people in the, in the city that would like to watch on Zoom. This is Tom. I've had the first shot of the COVID. I'm 78 years old. I refuse to come in. I, okay. to, I do not want to take a chance, until I, at least until I get that second shot. Uh, and they uh, told me that if after the second shot, you're 90% plus uh, safe. But right. You can still get it. You still have to wear a mask. You still have to wash your hands and go through all right. the regular things. But that meeting a face to face right now, I'm, <laughs> if I said yes, my wife would kill me. <laughs> no, and that's and Tom, that Tom, that's why I said that's why I said you know continue to have Zoom for those who don't feel comfortable coming in, but have the chamber office open. I think we need, I think, you know, I talked with another individual, not, um, not in the city council, but that we should continue to have Zoom, maybe from here on out, you know, but well, I, I would the, like. You know, the, the uh, uh, Solid Waste Commission is going to have Zoom meetings the rest of the year. We've already okay. decided that. 
Okay. Kathleen, were, Kathleen, were you, uh, I mean, is your intention, your preference is to have it open to the public again as well? If we're going well, to... Well, you know, still maintain the social distancing. I mean, still maintain that. As with, as with the council, yeah. if, we go, if we're allowed to go, I mean, I think we should. I think that's a council decision. But uh, when we're allowed to go back into the chamber, we're still going to have to wear masks and, you know, social distance. I don't think we can just all sit right up there on the, you know, on the, all together that close, you know, but six feet apart. But I, I would like, you know, and then the public can, you know, do the six feet apart too, but still have the Zoom availability, the Zoom link. Yeah, this is the safest, definitely. One, one. Yeah, but I, I, would, I would like to... I would like to start seeing that we could get back in there this next month. I still have the Zoom available. My only contention to that, Kathleen, is uh, we can have limited, limited amount of public in here. The ones right. that can go in on Zoom, we can have 50 or 100 on Zoom. Yeah. It's, it's got its problems with some of the bugs that we keep working out and everything. Uh, that's why I went ahead and done it tonight as Zoom because I felt safer uh, with not only the council but with the general public coming in. And, you know, I've had this stuff. I was in the hospital. It's, it's not very pleasant once you get it. And Miles, I, I've had it too. I've yeah. had it too. But that, you know, I mean, I just, you know, think about this, what we've gone through today. We can't, we can hardly sometimes hear each other and talk over each other. I, from now on, I'm going to come in there unless you close the city. I'm, I would like, just because I think, you know, we, we should, we should start moving back in there. You know, I'll mask up, you'll mask up. In fact, you should be masked right now because isn't that the rule? If you're in City Hall, you're ma you wear a mask. Okay, what would be the recommendation from the Board of Health, though, uh, Kathleen? Well, we're code yellow. So the state stipulates those, those rules and regulations. But see, Miles right now should have a mask on. If you're in City Hall, you should have a mask on. The state stipulates that once you go orange, you must remain orange for two weeks before you can go to the orange restrictions. Well, by then, by then, I mean, we've been yellow for quite a while, a week, and in, in March, it will be. But see, there's a sign on the door at City Hall that says, if you come in here, you must wear a mask. Whether or no, whether or no, uh, I think we're rushing to come back in. Uh, I disagree. Yeah. Anyway, that's just my opinion. But see, that Tom, that's why I'm saying we can do both. We can have that link. That's okay. But that's all I have to say on the subject. Okay, Betsy. All right. Anybody else have anything else that they'd like to share? I got a little bit. Uh, Age 65 and older can get the vaccine now. I saw that. Guess who's 65? You are. That just came out today. But uh, again, I'd like to thank the street department for cleaning out the cleaning the streets today and last night because they looked pretty good. And also, again, uh, thanks to Sheriff Jim Hunter, uh, County Commissioner Alan Hunt. And also Jeff Echelbarger for cleaning out the side, cleaning off the sidewalks uh, yesterday and this morning, so they could get into the uh, courthouse because they had some big drifts on the uh, streets and also on the uh, sidewalks. So uh, that's the, all I got. Hey Betsy, there's somebody from the public that wants to make a have a question. Yeah, hey, Go ahead, Stephanie. Go ahead, Steph. Hi, my name is I have a real quick question. I was told that the Peru Utilities, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. I was told at the Peru Utilities that because I started a, or I think we started a business here, I had to pay a pretty lofty security deposit, and I think that it negatively impacts 
small businesses and those who are interested in doing business in Peru, they cited an ordinance. So who or whom should I talk to about the ordinance? And if I'm in the wrong area, I apologize, but I'd just like to know if someone can tell me. Betsy? I couldn't, hear, I couldn't hear a lot of that. I'm so sorry. I, I was able to hear that, and I think the okay. most appropriate place would be to address that with the utilities board at this point, and then if they want to take further action, obviously they would pass the resolution and ask the council to... Um, would it be, I, ha, I would have to double check, but it may have to deal with the actual rates. I'm not sure if that deposit's written into the rate. If it is, it honestly would call for a rate study and have to go about it that way. But if it's not built into the rates, and it's just an internal policy, then a resolution with the board of, or the utilities board could potentially resolve that. Is Josh still on? Is Josh still on the No, he's gone. That or not? No, he's, he's gone. He is. I believe he is. I believe he's pre utilities. Okay. Josh, did you want to add to that? Okay. Justin, are you texting him? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. You can move it on. Sorry about that, Justin. Sorry about that. Josh, are you still on here? Next if you gave him a second, he, he should be on because he's going to check with the utility board. She says we're meeting next week, February seventeenth, four o'clock at the utilities. Did you get that, Seth? At four o'clock at the utilities, the seventeenth of February is the next meeting. I think. Thanks, Pat. Welcome. Josh, and just Josh asked if we can hear hear him. Evidently, he's trying to speak. Um, so I don't know. Do you want to give him a second? Try to figure it out. There he is. Yeah, there he is. Oh, February third. Do you have him muted, Miles? No. No. No, because he doesn't show us. Well, uh, but the, uh, since you're the liaison, do you want to get with Stephanie and help work that out? Um, on the third, I'm sorry, the third is the next meeting. Um, All right. If you can send me a email, my email address is on the site at the Pre Utilities. I mean, at the Pre City. Is Stephanie still there? Yes, that. You guys were asking Josh, I think you should, if you were wanting him to get on, I think you should give him the opportunity to speak if you can. I see you. Sorry, we couldn't hear him. Josh, see if you can unmute yours. You need to unmute Josh. It was more than just unmuting. He's working on it, he says. He sent me a message. Oh, okay. Okay, we'll wait. He said he can't. Is, uh, did Miles mute you? No, I'm I'm here. Did Can you me mute um, Josh? Yeah, I can hear you here. Coming through. Barely. Nope. Like his mic's turned yeah, down. He's getting <laughs> Have we given this enough of a go, Justin, or should we continue? Yeah. Okay. He's sending me another message. Okay. She, he, Josh said just have uh, Stephanie call him. Okay. If she would like. Okay. Okay. Hmm. okay. Does anybody else from the audience have anything that they would like to bring up? That's the only one. If I could make a, another point before we close. I think in terms of uh, we're looking ahead to the next meeting, I think we should be a unified body. I think the mayor should make that call. I think 
to unify, not have one person end up or two people in the chamber room, and we're spread out. I think we need to be present ourselves as a unified body. That's just my comment, my feelings. All right. So we have, but you feel like we should meet in person. Is that what you're saying, Pete? No, I'm Kathleen saying, feels like we should meet in person. No, out of respect, Tom and everybody. I think I agree with Tom. Better be no, okay. We need to split up the body. I think we need to be unified, and so it seems like uh, it, it is pointing to a another online meeting. Okay. Okay. Uh, fine, but I will leave that up to the mayor and Susan. I'll leave that up to them to make that decision. I'm comfortable with that if you guys all are. Yeah, 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 whatever they decide on. But I don't. I think we still need to be unified as a body. Either either way. I'm okay in doing online. If, if the mayor and Susan feel like we can do it in person, I'm okay with that. David Jeffries, I'm with you, bud. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Betsy, yes. I move we adjourn. Okay, I think that's true. I'll second that. Okay, thanks, Betsy. Thanks. Have a good, have a good month. I see you.